Sometimes when I reflect on my life, I realize there were various paths I could have taken. I could have pursued basketball, completed college, or aimed for a higher position on the career ladder. However, I find myself where I am today. Although there are moments when I wrestle with feelings of regret and wonder if God's plan for me is concluded due to my age, I continue to persevere. While juggling two jobs just to make ends meet, I remain actively engaged in the men's ministry at our church, offering support in any way I can. I feel compelled to share a little of our journey with all of you. There is a story I want to share with you called The Touch of the Master's Hand. It is actually a poem written by Myra Brooks Welch, often attributed to Max Lucado. Here is a summarized version. The Touch of the Master's Hand tells the story of a dusty old violin that is auctioned off as a cheap and worn-out instrument. However, when a master violinist picks it up and plays a beautiful melody on it, the true value of the instrument is revealed. The music played by the master's hand transforms the violin into something priceless and precious, showing that in the hands of a skilled artist, even the most ordinary things can become extraordinary. The poem serves as a powerful reminder of the impact of skill, care and craftsmanship in bringing out the true beauty and potential in everything around us. At times we may experience feelings of weariness and doubt, believing that God has finished his work in our lives. We may think we're either too old or too young, underestimating the masterpiece that God intends us to be. When we surrender complete control to him, we realize that we are the ones holding ourselves back. Our God is the ultimate craftsman, the creator of the universe and everything in it. Instead of fear, why not trust in his divine plan? Let's release control of our lives to allow God to shape us into the masterpieces we were meant to be. Let's pray, Father, we humbly approach you in the name of Jesus, seeking the confidence to truly understand ourselves. Grant us the wisdom to recognize our identity in you. As we release control of our lives and grant you full access to every part of who we are, help us discover the unique purpose for which we were created. Rather than questioning you, the creator of the universe, may we trust in your divine plan for our lives. Thank you for never giving up on us. We surrender ourselves completely to you at this moment, praying in Jesus' name. Amen.